pool of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Moonfallheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. <gasps> Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. A nose. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falky! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Fimble Winter for you. Not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Everyone gone, I wonder. They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again, as soon as I was exiled? <laughs> Ever written poetry of your own, brother? No. Well, ask a stupid question. Oh! <laughs> 
Hey, look at that up ahead. Pretty sure there's loot you're missing, if and you want to hunt around some more. stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Ward. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now I take something more than that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what's your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like... <laughs> he went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst word said between them don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face prayer again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Like you wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? 
Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon and the man. Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, you will see. Aye. A market, huh? Look. Like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. What'd you find? Sounds shiny. This river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company.
Hold up! If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours, big guy. <laughs> your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <laughs> Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! Ah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can, I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that? Crusty egg. Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. Sam we fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. Go. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker yet. Why is my I didn't realize the Hulk brothers were back in business. We're even going past the proper family. So don't tell me. Okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. 
Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna. That's Kratos. Oh, you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. No, we wouldn't dare. Good. Hello, servant of Freya. Do not speak to him. Shouldn't you be moving along now, stranger? Perhaps he can help. There's no reason to be unfriendly. I can think of it. Look, you chased him off. <sighs> Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That. There's a friendly face. Yeah. His name is Kratos and no. The Aesir on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since. Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? We're still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, just short on help. I see. Well, let's have a look at the map then. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak them. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys. He was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. Hmm. <laughs> 